Hi there, Virendri Yogi with wonderful idea to share with you so that you will learn lessons from experience of the so many wise people who have succeeded, who have failed, who have misery, who have sorrow, who have landed themselves in catastrophe and disaster because of neglecting some of the fundamental principles of success. You know the principle of success is you must have a definite purpose which is arising from your burning desire, intense desire with a particular motive and then you must have a practical plan of action for attaining that. You must have also alliance partners, the people who can help you and support you to achieve your goal and then you should have tremendous belief and faith in yourself that you can do it because you have been blessed with the power of the mind. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve for you. But you have to have courage, conviction, belief, faith, determination, commitment, passion and personal initiative backed by positive mental attitude and never to say die, never to quit attitude. Brother friends, this is the fundamentals of success. Now we tell you one story which is real story with my friends. You see, he had a pet dog, okay? So his purpose was to keep the dog very safe and he used to keep his dog on the third floor. It was totally fenced and very happy. The dog was mobile and quite comfortable. Of course, sometimes he tried to jump from there. It was more than 50 feet high, but it could not. It survived more than two years. This is one plan he has got. It was a purpose. He has some alliance partner who assisted him, he has faith and all the success principle was applied. But suddenly some incident occurred that he changed his plan and his plan was now to tie a rope around the neck of the dog and uh, tie him in the ground floor near the fence. You see, he was successful for two years. There was no problem, there was no danger, there was no threat. Suddenly, abruptly he changed his plan. Never, never change your plan which is working. Nothing succeeds like success. A plan which has borne fruit to you, that is a wonderful plan. You can slightly improve upon it or some modification, but not a drastic change. Look at this man. He suddenly changed his idea. He brought his dog down, tied a chain around the collar, near on the neck, and he tied near the fence. This is drastic change of the plan. Here he has not given due deliberations and good thinking. The dog was little aggressive, you can say more indisciplined and violent. It used to jump from the fences also, which was quite tall and high. So what happened one day, when some of the people were going, the dog used to chase the people out of affection, sometimes out of aggression. So when that man was going to drop few of his friends to the place which was just two minutes drive from that on a motorbike. The friends denied his request. He told it's very short distance, they will like to walk and they will go themselves. You see, here is the violation. You have to listen to the dull and ignorant and even to your friends. Once friend is insisting, no need, they will walk away. But this foolish friend wanted to help him and serve him. Force, no, no, I will drop you, I will drop you. And then he picked them up on his motorbike. It was a two minute drive, just two minutes drive. And then he went to drop them near the house, which is very close to the house of my friend. But when he reached that house, it was just two minutes, he wanted to drop them. But the foolish idea came to mind. She has one goal. First was to drop the friend. Now, you don't add another plan or another goal or another objective. One plan at a time. One objective at a time. One destination at a time. Had the person dropped his friends, within two minutes he could have come back to home. But he did not. He added another plan, another objective, another goal, another purpose. He thought to go to the market and buy some essentials for the night. See, it was near about 11.15 a.m. There was no need to plan for the night. But unfortunately, this foolish friend added another project, another plan, another objective, another goal. Never, never do that. Complete one project, come back to the starting point, 
then again think of. But this foolish friend started going for another project and it took near about 12 minutes, you know. But when this person came back to his home, it was a catastrophe, it was a disaster, it was a very, very shocking incident has occurred. The dog jumped the fence, the rope was just bordering the fence, so what happens? The dog got hanged and that was a wonderful, brave dog, it died. You see what happens. The dog died because of the person's fault. The person changed his plan from roof to the bottom. He didn't think that the rope should be still smaller. It should not be long enough so that the dog can try to jump the fence and hang the belt. No thinking was given. No duty lesson was given. The stupidity and the next blunder he did, he didn't listen to his friends when they told they will walk themselves. And the another blunder he did that, he added another plan and project and he went there. Had he just dropped them and come back, within two minutes he could have rescued his dog. Because it cannot suffocate so fast. Two, three minutes it can survive. It was, you know, the suffocation, hanging, lack of oxygen. You see the blunder. And here also you can add one thing, destiny. Destiny also plays its role. This story also tells the story of destiny. There was no plan to go to the market and buy the milk for the night for the dogs only. But see the destiny. Destiny was destined that the dog will jump the fence and hang itself to death. So the foolish idea came to that stupid person. He went to another project and when he came back, he was in tears, he was crying, he was weeping, he was just so much mourning and so much suffering because dog was just like his son. He loved the dog so much. But you see, not proper thinking, adding so many projects at a time, not listening to the others, and given even destiny chance to play its role. Beloved friends, this lesson is very alarming. And the man, what happened? He is in great mourn, deep, sad and sorrow and grief and pain. Now see what happens. When the dog was alive, this person could have done lot of loving, lot of affection, lot of everything to that dog. But once it is gone, everything is closed. So learn the lessons from it. As long as you are alive, you have your sons, you have your daughters, you have a wife or your husband, you have a lot of relatives, you have a lot of kith and kin, you have a society, you have a system, you have a family, you have a nation. Do as much as you can to serve everybody who is attached to you because once the curtain falls, the core chapter closes and you will just regret, repent, mourning, tears flowing from your eyes, but this regret, this kind of worry, anxiety, pain, sorrow, suffering will not do anything help. So what the lesson I'm driving? Again I summarize, sorry for repetition. Have only one plan, have only one purpose, have only one motivation, complete that project, then you take another project. Second, always think before you act. Always think before you act. Think before you speak, think before you act, think before you start your journey. Due deliberation several steps ahead. This is very important. And then by doing all these, what I have repeatedly told you, you can avoid a lot of catastrophe, disaster, and you will not be repenting, regretting the whole life. The heart burn, the bleeding from the heart, the lack of, irrespons the lack of responsibility, the foolish and uh, nonsense. The innocent life could be saved. Dog has just, you know, the brain of a five-year kid. But this man was very brave and a smart man, a wonderful person. He could have given little more thinking. Now he weeps, cries, day and night sleepless, no eating food. Anything can bring that back, the dog. Dog is gone. But the man is still suffocating, regretting, repenting, worries, anxiety, cursing himself. Lessons for you. Love everyone. Do as much as you can within your limbs and boundaries. Never change your plan which is working. You can simply improve upon your plan. One point at a time. Don't mix up so many projects and goals at a time. Complete one, take another. Complete one, take another. And look before you leave. Think 
Think, think, think. Give a space to your brain to anticipate some problems and to avoid catastrophe, dangers, emergencies, loss of life. May God bless you, dear friends. This real story will illuminate your way and you can be a wise person to give importance in dealings with your day-to-day -day problems of life. This is universal truth. The formula is applicable everywhere. May God bless you and victory to you. Thank.